So this is Crossfire 2.88 um, It's a beta um, thing I guess uh, Okay so now we have 10 milliwatts RF MD is 2 Okay uh, and uh, if I walk away, I set it to maximum 500 milliwatts. So hopefully, it should um, go up to that <coughs> before it starts to drop the speed, but it doesn't. So here now I have 10 milliwatts, or FMD is 1, and the quadcopter is there. So I wonder why it does like this, and I think it should just crank sensor up. Sensor lost. There we had the sen sensor lost, but I think it should crank up the power so that I can get our FMD2 at this point. So let's see if I walk towards the drone now, then now it is changing to RFMD2 and if I go like one, two, three, four meters from from the quadcopter so let's see um, but uh, except for that except from that um, now I'm facing the my back to the drone so it is going up sometimes to 500 sometimes not okay sensor lost now i got sensor lost again uh, i don't know why so let's see so now i walk quadcopter is there somewhere and I'm walking slowly um, so now I start to get a lot of houses in between me and the quadcopter so and now it cranked it up to 500 and as you can see the both the quality levels on the receiving and the telemetry is quite good so I'm happy for that but uh, um, the problem with this RFMD that it hangs on one is still there the same as it was on the other versions now you can see I have the RQLY starts to be dropping a little bit 88 and stuff like that but I have two houses in between me and the quadcopter and plus a concrete wall so it's pretty impressive anyway um, so I'm happy for this but uh, I have I have not flown yet and my main problem is not the RFMD hanging on one my main problem is fail safes so uh, I'm not sure how this will work but I will fly a little bit uh, later on maybe not today um, but um, So the reason to why I don't want to use the um, the dynamic power is because the RFMD is hanging on uh, one until I practically go to the drone, I mean within a few meters and then usually I get uh, the telemetry warning 
when it switches back to tele to RFMD 2 which I think is a little bit weird I get it also when it switches from 2 to 1 but uh, let's see now what happens quadcopter is there and let's see now when it switches, if it does that now it's switched ok, I turn around the problem is that it's not trying to keep it now it's like RFMD 1 I have 10 milliwatts if it can just crank it up to 100 milliwatts I'm pretty sure that I would get RFMD 2 sensor lost and I get sensor lost I go here RFMD 2 5 meters from the quadcopter Okay, so in practical cases it would mean that I would never have RFMD2 uh, when I fly. Uh, so, so um, you see, what, what is the point of having this if I... Sensor lost! Oh. So, but if I turn now to dynamic off, let's see if I can do that. Like that. So now I have the thing on 500 milliwatts and our FMD is 2 except here now it's 1 ok still 1 now it's 2 now it's 1 <laughs> Okay, there are some uh, stuff in the way, so it can be for sensor lost. Sensor lost. So, but the quality factors are very good. Now RFF or MFD is two. Okay. The quadcopter is there if you can see it. Okay. There are quite a lot of now it I'm here. This stone wall here. RFMD2. RM RMFD. Let's see. So now it's two. I bend down here behind this uh, concrete go a little bit sideways now it's switched to one as you can see go here two okay but I think this one will as far as my experience is with this one is that it does switch to two almost all the time when I'm flying, but uh, sensor lost. I get this sensor lost all the time, which is a little bit weird. And uh, <coughs> both quality factors, the receiver and the telemetry, is on like 95 to 100 even though I have now a couple of houses in between so I'm happy with that so uh, let's see 
Oh, now it's 90. And this is, I mean, I have lots of concrete, nicely reinforced concrete, and it stays above 80, so or it drops sometimes to like 88. But so it's, it's pretty good uh, receiving quality there. So okay so so I'm, I'm pretty happy for that so let's see if I can fly without fail safes on this version I don't know but I'm not able to use the dynamic power which is uh, it's not a showstopper but I would like to have it on for example 2 watts and dynamic which would mean that it would um, probably keep uh, the signal better even if I go behind something or if there is any noise surge coming around I don't know so that's how it is so let's see what we can do about this So, <coughs> and here is the quadcopter.